Turns out Toyota competition meetings are just now Fight Club. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. The one rule about Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club, except for the people at the Toyota competition meetings certainly aren't Tyler Durden because somebody talked about it because the news is now out that Eric Almirola and Bubba Wallace had some sort of altercation during a Toyota competition meeting before the Charlotte race week back in May. So what do we know at this point? Well, obviously rumors have been circulating for the last couple of weeks that there was an altercation, a fight between Eric Almirola and Bubba Wallace at this competition meeting. So Joe Gibbs Racing and 20 the Real 11 Racing have a joint Toyota competition meeting during the week leading up to the next race. So this happened between Darlington and before Charlotte. The two of them had some sort of disagreement and the team viewed Eric Almirola as the instigator. Let me be clear here. The team viewed Eric Almirola as the instigator. Now, I know OutKick and all these other terrible outlets, along with the Facebook comments, are going to absolutely skew this and somehow make this Bubba Wallace's fault, even though the team viewed Eric Almirola as the instigator in this situation and indefinitely suspended him until July 20th at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where he will make his return. Now, that's not indefinitely. That is a definite time point uh, in, in the future where it will end, but we're not here to nitpick certain things right now. So I don't know what happened in this situation. We had heard a couple weeks ago that there was an altercation, and I was told at the time that they didn't expect Almirola to be back in the car. Obviously, he will now be back in the car. Shout out to Toby Christie. Last week on Friday, he reached out to Joe Gibbs Racing officials and he was told by somebody over at the team that Eric Almirola was still part of their Xfinity program and that he'll be back July 20th. So that's essentially two months after he was last in the car, a little over two months since he was last in the car at uh, Darlington back in May. So there's a history between Eric Almirola and Bubba Wallace. They just don't like each other seemingly, or at least Eric Almirola doesn't doesn't like Bubba Wallace or Noah Gragson and Ty Gibbs or Sam Mayer and Ty Gibbs. Uh, I'm not going to say anything else about Ty Gibbs because I don't want anybody to get upset that I keep mentioning Ty Gibbs. Uh, but for the most part, they just don't like each other, right? So rewind to 2023. Again, Charlotte Race Week, actually. So during the Coke 600, uh, during the rain delay, Eric Almirola walks up to Bubba Wallace on pit road, confronts him, shoves him, and there's an altercation there. Bubba did not seem to understand what exactly Almirola was so pissed about. So shout out to Sarah Davis for having the video of the altercation since Fox didn't have an angle. And I believe Fox even showed this uh, on the broadcast. So what was Eric Almirola upset about? Well, uh, this contact down the backstretch uh, where he said that you know, Bubba made contact with him in, in the most Austin Hill way. Eric on World is the one that initiated said contact. So that was very confusing. So then that obviously has been building. They don't like each other. Maybe this even stems from 2017 when Bubba substituted for Almirola when he hurt his back and essentially got the same results as Almirola did. And everybody was like, well, you know, maybe we can do this without Eric here. And maybe Eric's, you know, slightly overrated, whatever. Maybe they just don't like each other. They don't see eye to eye, which is fine. So you go to this competition meeting and Almirola maybe walks in there like Conor McGregor, picks Bubba up, throws him through the ropes. Obviously, that's exaggerating. I don't think any of that happened. I don't think he went flying across the uh, the conference table. As much as you probably have thought about jumping across the conference table and meetings before in life, certainly I have before, where you're sitting there and you're like, I want you to shut up. Your ideas are terrible. I don't want to hear about this anymore. If you say anything, anything else in corporate lingo, one more time, I'm going to pick this chair up. I'm going to hit you over it. And I'm going to throw you out the window. Now, that was a little bit aggressive, but you've all had the thoughts before. I don't think any of that happened. I think this was probably just an altercation. And honestly, it must have been a decent altercation to get suspended for two months, essentially, right? And obviously, Almirola is on a part-time schedule. The sponsor is already there, and he gets us, as well as his sponsor, what, Go Bowling, that he brings along with him. So it's not like Gibbs had to really you know, stress over this decision, right? It's not like he was suspending one of his full-time Cup Series drivers. It's like, well, you're not really bringing money to the table. He gets us as sponsoring you, so we can just put Ty Gibbs in the car. And that's what happened at Charlotte, right? Almirola's name was on the initial entry list, and then he was pulled, and Ty Gibbs was put in the car, and it was a team decision at the time, is what Joe Gibbs Racing said. And obviously now we know what the situation is here now that he's missed multiple races. So at the beginning of the year, Almirola was expected to do between 15 and 16 races. He's done five up to this point. Still ahead of Haley Deegan in the points here, uh, standings as well. That's a ricochet shot at her, but it is impressive to only run five races versus her 16 and still be ahead. He does have a win this year at Martinsville. Uh, his first actual win for Joe Gibbs Racing that he crossed the finish line in. Obviously, he's credited with that Milwaukee win, but Danny Hamlin crossed the line in the car after they pulled Almirola from the car for the sponsor. So... 
Yeah, it's a perplexing situation. Like, uh, you're supposed to be a grown man, right, at the end of the day, and you're supposed to be able to control your emotions, and Almirola is getting into a fight in a competition meeting. Now, who knows what was said in said meeting? We don't know, but again, the team viewed Eric Almirola as the instigator. So they didn't view Bubba Wallace as the instigator. They didn't view anything else. They said that Eric Almirola was the instigator in the situation. And honestly, it's a bad look for Almirola. I still think that it's good that he's in the Xfinity Series, right? I think that a veteran presence is definitely something that the Xfinity Series needs. And, and a guy that probably his talent level did top out at Xfinity and probably could have had a great Xfinity career if he stayed down there versus going up to the Cup Series. I think it's good to have him in said series. But uh, you just can't be going around getting into fights and competition meetings. I mean, there was a few years ago where teams were sending their drivers to uh, MMA training gyms to, you know, I don't know, get in better shape and prepare for fights if they were to happen. Almirola said, screw the gym. We're just going to bring it right here into the competition, meaning move the tables out of the way. We're going to set the mats up right now. Nah, not ideal. Yeah, it's just really something you, you can't do. One thing I am curious about is will the Joe Gibbs Racing social media account, the ones that recreate those famous calls, uh, be recreating the Bubba Wallace Eric Almirola fight? I hope that they do uh, because it would be highly entertaining. So to recap, Eric Almirola suspended until July 20th at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where he will return to the Xfinity Series altercation with Bubba Wallace. Almirola was the instigator in said altercation, and that's why he hasn't been in the car for a while. So let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.